what's going on my beautiful people today we are starting episode 10 this is the start of the super nine i've been waiting all season for this for this moment right here for a moment like this <laughs> Yo, if you're watching this on YouTube, that means that you're watching whoever went home from the Super 9. I don't know who it is, but y'all know who it is by the title, all right? So if you want to see the full episode review, head over to Patreon right now. Dot, that's patreon.com slash Billy, you so crazy, and you can watch the full episode review for just $2, all right? That's if you want to watch the whole... If not, you know what I'm saying, then just enjoy whoever went home at the end of this episode. I really don't know. But um, all my folks over on, on the Crazy Pack, let's get started on episode 10. I'm excited. This is what I've been waiting for. Episode 10! Let's go. I came to slay this. Hey. Hey. That was a dope intro. I like that. That was a dope intro. Super nine. Super nine. Super nine. Super nine. Super nine. Nick is looking a little tired. The mass crop from all three groups are finally coming together. From group Who is that? Turtle, kangaroo, and white tiger. I dropped the imaginary mic. From group B, kitty, banana, and Oh yeah. He's got those moves in the crowd. Who is that? Night Angel, Astronaut, and Rhino. The Rhino. Battle Royale for that golden match. Who do y'all think is gonna win it all? Put your bets in the comment section right event. now. This is a two-hour event? This entire competition. I'm tired this is two hours? It, and you're tired of waiting for it. It's finally time. Oh snap. I didn't know this was two hours. What just happened? <laughs> I didn't know this was two hours, y'all. I hope y'all ready. This is gonna be a long episode. <laughs> two hours? Oh, he got his turban on today. Welcome to the Mass Singer. The moment has finally arrived. We have been waiting for this. Super Nine. A special two hour event. Two hours, y'all. We have an elite group of performing mammals, reptiles, fruit, and a night angel, all who have the same common goal of winning the most coveted prize in Hollywood. It's the Golden Mass Trophy. All three groups will perform, and the singer from each group with the least amount of votes risks being unmasked at the end of the show. Now, let's say hello to our panel. Wait, who's that? And who is our guest panelist this week? He's a Grammy nominee, Chef Martha Stewart. Oh, that's oh, that's Snoop. They got Snoop. They got Snoop. I was about to say it looked like Snoop. Y'all know him. Y'all love him. Y'all said, take it off. Take it off. Take it's the Snoop D O Double G. Take it off. It's Snoop Dogg. What's West Side? What's what's? Y'all know I'm from the West Coast. <laughs> the LBC. Snoop, you what you want to say to the people, man? Hey, what's happening with y'all? <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Hey, Snoop, you sound a little different. Yeah. All right. Oh, that ain't Snoop. Y'all, y'all know. That ain't Snoop. That ain't Snoop. Dog, <laughs> April Fool's. I was like, <laughs> that is not Snoop Dogg, ladies and gentlemen. Nope, nope, nope. I was like, hold on. I asked my friend Eric from San Bernardino oh. to come trick y'all. <laughs> I had a feel. I was like, his face April structure Fools. looks. I think it was Snoop. For a quick he got me. Yeah, he, got me. he got me. He got me. You know we know Snoop. And the whole time I was like, dang, Snoop. He looked a little. He looked a little different. His facial structure for sure. There was no plume of smoke behind Snoop. So. I just told him I was gonna send him a record tomorrow. <laughs> Y'all make some noise from Eric from San Bernardino. That's my homeboy. He just he just pulling I his boys off the street. Never met the longest hug. <laughs> We're doing this all episode, y'all. 
So just know, oh, here we go. April Fools, anything I forgot. Happen, I forgot I yesterday I was April question. Fools. Is, is that really Nick Cannon? Oh. Oh. You never know. Is that Nick right. Cannon? I'm not about to play with this episode. Ben Steve Harvey. <laughs> Right. I'm not about to play with this episode. They already getting me, getting on my nerves. <laughs> I got got. Y'all know I wear glasses. Oh, nice. 15.4 million combined, huh? Yo, Instagram followers is a really big deal, huh? Here comes Group B. I love it. All have been interviewed by Oprah. Okay. Down, 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 down. Seven Grammy nominations combined. Group C holds some weight, huh? Wow. We haven't seen Group They got flags. So let's catch you up to speed. There's the hardcore turtle that came to win. The kick-ass kangaroo who wears her heart Total on knockout. And the infamous white tiger who's Two Ken Jones. for a good time. And kicking things off is the turtle. Here's a look at how he's been preparing. Pay attention oh, snap. to the end where there's one super clue. Who is the turtle again? I can't remember who the turtle is. Just like my costume, I'm hardcore about being the best at everything I do. Oh, this is Jesse. Yeah, this is Jesse McCartney. You're automatically a front runner for this. He gonna win this. That's how good he better are. win this. I realized that to win, I had to become one with the turtle, like a method actor. First, I run a 10K before each show wearing a 40 pound vest to get used to the heaviness of my shell. That's a quarter of my body weight. Mm. Next, I know that to win this, you need more than a good voice. So I added tons of choreo, even though I'm not a dancer. Entering the Super 9, it's really hitting how badly I want to win that Golden Max trophy. And now, America, I guess it won't hurt Shell to boy. give everybody this fantastic confession. Super clue? This is not another teeny clue. That magazine is dope. That that didn't help me, but I know it's Jesse McCartney. Hero, because it said in that comic book cover, yeah. it said, right. whose hero's under the mask? Yeah. Right? That's true. Oh, 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 oh. Think about it. There must be a high love down in your heart. Oh, hidden in the stars above. Without it, life is wasted time. Come on, man. That's Jesse. Things look so bad everywhere in this whole world. I don't know this song at all, though. Oh, look at the backup dancers. Oh, never mind. I lied. I know the song. Uh huh. Go ahead. He got him a fan. Nicole, I don't know what you was doing. I have no idea what you were doing, boo, but um, please. <laughs> you better sing it, boy. Hallelujah. Yes. The turtle is going to win the Super 9. I'm calling it now. If they send him home this episode, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be upset. Awesome job, turtle. Yeah. I won't find out till the end of the two hours, though. This is a long episode. Super 9. Absolutely. Bring in the high You say you're not a dancer, but you move so naturally on the stage, and I, I really like your voice. You've such a nice falsetto and a nice flip, and a lot of range. Yeah, I would agree. 
And we all know April Fools is all about things not being quite as they Yeah, that magazine cover was an April Fools joke. A lot of assumptions made around here about who singers might be. We're going to clear some things up by having each of them tell you something that they are not. Mm. So, Ooh. Turtle, what are you not? I'm not known for just one thing. Okay. Well, based off the clues, we He's saw actor, that he right? could act. Method actor, right? And he obviously can sing. A man of many shells. I know. A, a, a new person kind of came to mind as we've been going through boy banders, we've gone through uh, the a new, new person. kids, there's been some uh, uh, teen heartthrob references right. and right. stuff like that. So I'm gonna go with uh, Drew Lachey, Nick Lachey's brother from 98 oh. Degrees. Oh. Well, you, got some, you got some love in the audience on that well, one. Well, because 98 Degrees was known more of a boys to men type harmony group uh, more than they were dance moves and choreography. I like it, Robin. I like it. Close, but in my opinion, it is a Backstreet Boy. Brian Luttrell, <laughs> it all fits everybody in the Clue Package, which is like a hit song. Everybody. Sing, Sing it, kid. Yeah. 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 No, 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 Don't get me no. started. <laughs> now, <laughs> there's a comic book in the package, all right? Backstreet Boys had a Cyber Crusaders, which is like the first online animated show Cyber created Crusaders? by Stan Lee, and no one is more Did they really? passionate about big boy band comic I don't know nothing about that. All right? <laughs> all right. I ain't know nothing so, about that. From one teen idol to another. Oh, my God. Teen Give idol. Up for Brian Luttrell. <laughs> that guy said one teen idol to... <laughs> Nicole, are you jumping on that train with Ken? I, I sure am not, Nick. <laughs> I am not. But you are my favorite teen idol, Oh, Ken. thank you. <laughs> See you at the Tiger Bee reunion. Listening to the voice because he can sing so well, I was thinking boy band. Right. But I'm thinking maybe it's Nick Lachey. Mm. Because See, I just don't go all around the spectrum, huh? One of our earlier clues, he said that we had a fun morning together. And I was like, wait a second, oh, it's yeah. a family show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> we did Access Hollywood in the morning wearing a horse head for Mass Singer. Because I was not bad. Because I originally thought the first time we saw him, it was Nick Lachey. But now, I'm really kind of feeling that superhero clue. And I want to just play with that for a second. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Uh, Chris Evans, he was in that film. Yes. Well, but but oh, he, he did was, say oh. that forty pounds was. A Can Chris of his Evans body sing? Weight, so that would have to be the Chris Evans at the beginning of Captain America <laughs> before. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> before Chris. he was shocked with radiation. <laughs> have you seen Chris Evans' shoulders? <laughs> They're bigger than turtle's shell. <laughs> Chris Evans is a method actor. Oh, I'll that's have right. you know, mm -hmm. and his shoulders might have shrunk to play Just the to turtle. Just to play the, the turtle on the mask. There it is. Well, there you have it. The panel's having fun and so are we because of okay, well, amazing performance. We know who the turtle is, though, right? Yeah, maybe. Well, the turtle. Our panel's turtle guesses include pretty much everyone. They know Chris Evans. Turtle from Entourage. Who do you think it is? Turtle from Entourage? <laughs> I genuinely really want to that? stick around. I am a competitor. I You're love gonna to win this. I'm claiming it now. That dreaded moment at the end of the show where you know someone's going home, and I just hope, I hope that it's not me. Guys, we went from 18 this season to our Super 9. Our Super 9 looks pretty strong. I know, and I couldn't wait to see, like, Turtle and Frog compete in, like, Kitty. They, and they really gonna have Turtle and, and Frog go like, against each other. So different and strong if they life. choose the Frog over the Turtle. I'm calling it conspiracy. Oh man, we gotta add. Oh, I was not. I forgot. I'm on Hulu, y'all. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I forgot Taco Bell is that delivered. this episode even came out yesterday. Like I was, I was just so into doing other stuff that I didn't even pay attention. I filmed so many videos, I completely forgot that this came out uh, last night. And I was like, oh man, I woke up this morning. Like, what did I forget to do? Mass Singer, upset, y'all. I'm gonna get to uh, y'all comments on the next commercial break. You know what I'm saying? Because I did not have it pulled up because I completely forgot what I'm watching this on. Boop, 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 boop. Who is that? <laughs> wait, wait, what what happened to my head? Ha ha ha, April Fools! You're the rhino knot now! This isn't a joke. We did this on purpose. Yeah, this is a look, honey. <laughs> <laughs> this is a look, honey. Who is that? Welcome back to the Mass Singer, the show that combines crazy costumes 
colorful performances and a little bit of mystery. But enough about Ken Jeong. Next up from Group A, she has the spirit of a fighter and the voice of an angel. We'll get reacquainted and also find out a the about the kangaroo. Now, this is who I thought was Jordan Sparks, but I don't think it's Jordan Sparks. You guys were saying Jordan Coming Woods or something like that? I knew I had to put on a brave hidden face. After all, or Jennifer I Hudson. came here to share my strength and bounce back after being vilified by That's what I thought it was. rumors of my past. And I'm giving it my own. I'm not the girl it's taking home. You pulled us all the way yeah, into your Sparks. world, to your feeling, to what you're going through. Beautiful. After my first performance, I started believing in myself like never before. But I've got to be honest. I'm incredibly nervous every time I'm on that stage. When you see me jumping, I'm actually just trying to shake out my nerves. Tonight, I feel even more out of my league. But that's why I'm singing a fighter's anthem. I've been put through hell this past year, and this performance is my response. But before I bear my soul out there, here's one idle clue so you can become a kangaroo. Oh, she's pulling out the patch. Or the, the pouch. All right, doll. Do you know who I am now? She just pulled out another She's kangaroo. For being a doll? Yeah. What does I that don't mean? Know. Maybe that's another clue about having a little roux. A little roux? What about the pie, though? I'm through with a doll. There's nothing left for me to figure out. I paid a price. And I'll keep paying I'm not ready to make a night I'm not ready to back down See I'm still not See. in jail And I don't have time to go round and round and round It's too late to make it right I probably wouldn't if I could Somebody said to bring myself to do what it is The kangaroo throws me off a little bit because... I don't think... I don't think she's a singer, though. She can sing, but I don't think she's a singer. This one, she throws me off. I don't know who this is. She throws me off. There's certain parts where she sounds like she could be. A Jordan somebody and then it's I don't know yeah wow. That's what I'm talking about. Such an look at the white tiger from the, kangaroo. Keep it the white tiger better go home today <laughs> if he make it to the super eight or whatever I'll be upset you've obviously been through so much and doing this show is somehow therapy for you mm -hmm. and you have connected with us on a level that I've never felt before it's such an emotional performance so sincere yeah. and I really love what you did really good yeah I want to honor you because you did sound a bit nervous, but yeah. you battled through it and bared your soul. And look, it's a new decade, and what better time to be your most authentic self. So thank you. Well said. Let's clear up some rumors. Kangaroo, tell us what you're not. I may be a kangaroo, but I've never lived in Australia. Ah. So that rules out Iggy Azalea. Yeah. Well, I never thought it was Iggy. Remind me a little bit of like Jordan Sparks. That's the kind of That's tone that. I was getting. Yes. But then as the weeks went on, I keep paying attention to the clues because I love them so much. <laughs> that and face, though. The clue drama queen made me think reality star. Mm, and then I heard star? Wiz in the package, and this person was married to Wiz Khalifa. I know you ain't thinking of Amber Rose. And she was kind of thrown into the press, into that whole Kardashian group. Oh. I would say Amber Rose. Oh. Ooh. Can Amber sing? Amber, I she, mean, uh, she... She wanted to put oh. out an album a couple uh -huh. times. She did talk about that. Right. Nick, Nick, yeah, was, he signed her, didn't he? She sang, he used to be her manager. She had a little country vibe. Mm -hmm. The whole... Blue. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Yeah, showing off. <laughs> oh, so long 
attention for you. That's Beyonce's face singing Leanne Rhymes. <laughs> okay, so clue packages Beyonce's in the past. Leanne I think Rimes. this That's person funny. had a Grammy. She was vilified in the press. And I'm a big fan of this person's tone, uh, Leanne Rhymes. Oh. Right? Oh, yeah. You know, Leanne was the youngest person to win a Grammy, actually, for Blue. Oh, so wow. there it is. There it is. Leanne there Rhymes. Could be. <laughs> But I'm gonna completely I don't flip think, the script here. I don't think it's um, Leanne Rhymes. I have the honor of touring with Unless this she's lovely pulling. artist. She also uh, is Grammy nominated and was vilified for controversies for one of her album covers. But also, when I heard authentic self and bearing my soul, I thought of this person instantly. And I'm thinking India Ari. Ooh. Ooh. That's really good. That's a good one. I, I heard that. I heard that tone. A good guess for a great performance. The kangaroo, Ladies she's throwing everybody. I don't, I don't kangaroo. know. I really feel like she's probably just more of a. The stuff that the it's audience so be doing kills me. All y'all do this <laughs> in unison. <laughs> <laughs> is our panel a hot the audience is killing me. A good kangaroo guest? Oh my god. Tell goodness. us what you think. I felt like I could have done better. I was so nervous coming back here and coming on stage. I almost forgot what it was like to be a kangaroo. It was a hard song to sing. You know, I hope I get yeah, to sing it You can again. hear it in her voice. She was nervous. I am not ready for it to end. Coming up, the oh last singer of Group A is let out of his cage. I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> and then Please tell me Rob is going home. To take the stage. You should know, you should know better. Y'all still don't think it's Bow Wow? Come on, bro. And later, Come on, a super bro. nice singer takes it off. I don't care. It better be the white tiger. <laughs> I don't care. My patience, I, I don't care. Have it better be the white tiger. Let's get to these comments while we got 26 seconds on the clock. Yo, shout out to Ruth Hendricks. I appreciate you. Shout out to Randy. Um, always looking forward to your mass singer videos. Hey, Carlos, I appreciate you, bro. Uh, Kate White. Tim Tebow, after seeing his roommate speak, uh, he went to the same school, University of Florida, which is smack dab in North. Okay. All right. Not okay. Okay. All right, Kay, right? I see you, I see you, I see you. All right, we're going to get to the rest of these comments at the end of this because these commercials are short. Two-hour episode, y'all. Okay, White Tiger, tonight you're not just going to be sexy. you got to be too sexy. Please tell me he's yeah, going home. Sexy beast. He was cool the first episode. After that, Welcome I'm tired of Rob. <laughs> We just saw two amazing performances. If he don't go home today, I'm done with this show. I'm not. I'm not. And I have a feeling he gonna make it to the super nine. He gonna make it to the super two. Watch. I really want him to go home though. Amazing favorite. So let's watch the tale of the white tiger and pay close attention to a new clue at the end. Oh gosh, we know who it is, bro. When I first got here, I never sung in front of a crowd. I or didn't period. even know what an eight count was. Shocking, right? No. Don't answer that. But as soon as Too I late. stepped on that stage, brother, I lit up like a light bulb. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. I know I don't have the best voice, trust me. But I do know that I can turn this stage into the raunchiest party on the block. This is a family show, so Rob. I've been rehearsing around the clock because this performance has got to be so sexy it hurts. Uh, all right, before I get that audience all hot and bothered. Hot and bothered? Here comes a clue in three, two, one. Swish, swish. Basketball? He's Flossin' as a basketball player? He's Flossin'. a basketball player with great teeth. <laughs> Y'all know who this is, man. Stop playing with me. Oh my! F ah, too sexy for my show. Too sexy for my show. So sexy it hurts. Ah, too sexy for my land. Too sexy for my land. New York and Japan. Ah, too sexy for your party. Too sexy for your party. No way I'm disco dancing. Yeah, I do my little turn on the catwalk. 
What the? What the? What the? Come on, everybody. Too sexy for my. Too sexy for my. I've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> Look at this! I've had enough. Y'all gonna let this stay on the show. I know it. Y'all gonna let this stay on the show. I know it. I cannot believe he really has what is that? This old low calorie Simba on the pole. Y'all gonna let this stay. He gonna stay. He gonna make it through another episode. I really wish I would send him home. I really do. I'm what sick. Just happened. I am sick. White Tiger, I love you so much. You're brave, you're bold, and a little messy. Y'all gonna let this stay. Y'all gonna let this stay on the show. Like, I know we it. just gonna pick any note. <laughs> yeah. Any note. He just gonna grab yeah, it. Yeah, that one. This matter. one. And I'm here for it. Yeah. Jesus. You deserve to be in the Super 9 because you are so fun oh, and that man. fun is contagious. He is too sexy. He's too sexy and he's too, too fun. Sexy. All right, White Tiger, well, let's clear up some things. Tell us something. He was fun the first two episodes, Max. I'm just not bronze. I'm brains. I even wrote a best-selling book. What? You wrote a best-selling book? Wow. He's brains. He said he wrote a best-selling book. Look at you. <laughs> Crazy thing is, he never read it. Is that your brain bleeding <laughs> with genius? I don't know what that is. Oh, my God. All right, you guys picking uh, up on any clues? He's a best-selling uh, author. In the clue package, lit up like a light bulb. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, it could be Watt. Watt in a light bulb. Like, I don't know, J.J. Watt. Oh. He's a defensive end for the Houston Texans. Brother was mentioned in the clue pack. And on, JJ's bro. brother also you know plays in the NFL for the Steelers. On, so bro. can I get a what, what for JJ? You can get a what? no, no. Like Destiny's Child. What? No, 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 no. Um, okay, my turn? Yes, your turn. Your turn. Okay, your so turn. Um, Swish was a Katy Perry video. And this person I'm thinking of, he was in that. Oh. And Somebody then better the say. first time we saw you, there was a clam. Yeah. So we're thinking immediately New England. I know some people are like, oh, New England, let it be Tom Brady. He's busy. I said this last time, and I'm going to stick with it. Rob Gronkowski. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I we know don't who it is. know about Rob Gorgonzola. Over there, <laughs> but or, <laughs> or Rob Garbanzo Bean. But um, I'm thinking it could be because he loves to dance. Joe Macaroni from Magic Mike. <laughs> Who's Joe Macaroni? He's the tall one from Magic Mike, Macaroni. and he loves to dance. Maginelio. You know. Yeah, that guy. Uh, there it is. Oh my that gosh! Is. I'm feeling Joe Manganiello. Yeah. No way. Are you not business, entertained? Right? <laughs> uh, and, you know, I think we've been clearing some things up. Oh, my it goodness. Is April Fools and everything. There's been this thing about my height since I've been standing next to the, the, the white tiger here. So, you know what? We're going to set the record straight and bring someone else's height out here in question. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Whose height is this? Yeah. Whose yeah. height is this? We measure him against another man. Yes. Wow. Ken. No. Stand next to this white tiger. Oh my gosh, look at that! Oh my gosh, look at that. Yes! Is that Ken's correct height? This is his correct height. That is not my correct No. <laughs> no. They might have gave you an inch or two. Look how you got on platform. How dare oh, okay. <laughs> that is this remarkable. Leave me alone. Stop it. Silent. I look like Asian baby Nick Cannon. Asian you baby. You did that baby gap ad? I did not oh. do a baby gap ad. Why is my... <laughs> oh my god, literally, he can smash you. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, okay, we gave the White Tiger way too much time. Like, yes, we gave him way too much time. Can we move on, please? <laughs> can we move on? I have a feeling y'all gonna try to keep this man another episode just to make me mad. He is entertaining, but please, okay. we gotta move on. It's time for the audience to vote for their favorite group. Oh, we're already, we're already voting? Audience, choose.
choose your favorite. Oh now. snap! We voting? <laughs> the singer with the least amount of votes will be placed in our bottom three. I don't want it to happen. Uh oh. Oh, they're doing a bottom three. The votes oh, are snap. in. I'm excited. The singer with the least amount of votes in Group A, who risks it better not be the turtle. At the end of the night is. Is it gonna be the kangaroo? Going to be revealed after the break. Bruh. You ain't right. Whatever. Bruh. It better be the white tiger, but something tell me it's gonna be the kangaroo. I just know it. We're finally back out in our yard. But so are they. Put these commercials on pause, you feel me? Because <laughs> they ain't cutting your boy a check for none of that. You feels me, you feels me. How y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? How y'all holding up? I see a lot of you guys commenting, hoping that, you know what I'm saying, that I'm doing well. I don't know if I said it in the video that I was doing bad or something, but I've seen a flood of those comments lately. So and for those that are wondering, like, I'm very well. You know what I'm saying? You guys do not have to worry about your boy. Like, are you okay? That is the question. Your boy is healthy, alive, black, blessed, highly favored. Okay, I am good. You don't have to worry about your boy, but I appreciate the support though. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's get to some of these comments since this is a little bit longer. Um, first of all, let me just say shout out to everybody that did comment. I see you, Randy, Ruth, Carlos, Kate, Ruby, Maddie, uh, Teresa, Rhonda, uh, Ruba, which we share the same birthday. Shout out to you, you know what I'm saying? Happy belated birthday to you and happy belated birthday to anybody that had a birthday or their birthday is coming up. You know what I'm saying? Shay, Carol, uh, Carolyn, <laughs> almost butchered your name, Hannah, and uh bailey you know what i'm saying i'm gonna read you guys comments specifically at towards the end of the episode you know what i'm saying just to give y'all 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 time at the end you know what i'm saying this, this commercial part i'm just kind of we just gonna wing it because i may edit this out i don't know <laughs> if y'all watching it with me then i didn't edit it out but whatever all right one second let's go who's going okay. home bro the group a singer with the least amount of votes is all right, it's gonna be the kangaroo, huh? White Tiger. What? Y'all actually voted him? Finally. Kangaroo. Finally. Turtle. Congrats to you. Finally. You safe for another week. Give White Tiger some love. Finally. He's not going home yet though, because he can still make it past the Super Three, right? Or the White last three, whatever. You're in the bottom three. But there will be another vote at the end of the show. So you may just live another day. All right. It's going to be another vote. Like two ships full of crazy costumes passing through the night. Let's move on to Group B. Group B. We got a saucy kitty with strong vocals. A slippery banana who knows how to put on a show. And Very a appealing. That's hilarious. Mad rapper. Moves. The... Come, Bow Wow's just giving it to y'all at this point. Mad rapper. B, it's Kitty. Come. Let's take a look at what promises to be the first of many of her nine lives and even one new super clue Who's that will have you all purring with excitement. These clues do not help nobody. Or it doesn't help me. Let me speak for myself. Since starting young, for a large part of my life, I've struggled with my self-image, regardless of my success. Mm. My mind only saw darkness and ugliness when I looked in the mirror. Even when I first got here, I felt like I was at a party meant for other people. Like I was the odd cat out. But there's something special that happens to me when I put on the kitty costume. She makes me feel assertive and confident and beautiful. Every week I get to really let my freak flag fly show the depths of my soul. You wanna take it up, shot, and take it, wow. take it. And that newfound confidence has been building to tonight. Even though there are some incredible singers here, I finally feel like I not only deserve to be here, but that I could even go all the way. But now it's clue time. I'm not going to make this complicated. Christmas is truly the most wonderful time of the year. Ring any jingle bells? No, it didn't actually. I'm um, just as lost. She could be with Anna Gasteyer. She could be in a Christmas movie. Oh yeah. I love Christmas movies. Fun fact. There were nights when the wind was so cold. My body froze in bed if I just listened to it right outside the window. There were days when the sun. 
Let my tears turn to dust and I just know my eyes were drying up forever. Crying in the instant that you left And I can't remember when, when or how And I banished every memory you and I had ever made Baby, baby, baby When you touch me like this And you kiss me like that Go ahead, girl Hallelujah. Yes. Wow. Yes. I don't have the slightest clue who the kitty is. Kitty Dion. Right? A little hidden gem in there. I don't know who that is. Wow. Oh my. Kitty, you. Can y'all stop telling the audience to do this? Confidence? I can't. Girl, choosing Celine Dion shows that you have confidence and you have the voice to sing it. Well done. She's a pop culture yeah. guru? I don't know that. On these wonderful upbeat performances uh, and showing off your sparkling character and sensuality, but that was just great singing. It period. was, and I mean, Kangaroo was a strong singer, but Kitty, I think, is even stronger. Yeah. All right, Kitty, you have the panel utterly confused about your identity. Tell us something you are not. I. I was not streaming when Robert Redford helped me to get my very first role. What? What? Okay, well, she's so an actress. She can be a serious actress. Uh, she's an actress. That's a good logic train. This is hard. I always thought because if we look at our clues in the past, she's talked about being a seamstress or love to design, clothing line. I've, I always thought it could be maybe Nicole Richie. She's petite, has Nicole's body type. And we know her father can sing. Her yeah. father can sing. But yeah, then for sure, for sure. Act? She comes from a showbiz family. Yeah. She That's did have a TV show. Knows, Robert, One right? of my favorites, yo. That you know, her Robert reality Redford TV show thing was funny as heck. Sundance Film Festival. Yes. So she could have gotten her, you know, big break being in the Sundance now Film Festival. Think? Oh. Who could this be? Throwing names like Robert Redford out there. I will say this, though. Based off the clues. <laughs> Like, oh. oh my god. You scared me and I'm the one who put it there. Oh my god, I had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, Robin's got cranks now. April Fool's. <laughs> they out here playing. All right, all right, Jenny, what you got? All right, so based off that Christmas clue we saw, uh, she's got a Christmas movie on Netflix, Vanessa Hudgens. Oh, that's a good guess. That's Vanessa's body type. It she is. is. She's very petite, like she Vanessa. Is petite. I like Vanessa Hudgens, but I'm not getting that um, from the voice at all. There was a clue in the package uh, that said "Freak Flag Fly," and that could Freak mean flag. the American Horror Story Freak Show, ah. which this person is also on. Ah. Um, she also uh, could have very well known Robert Redford and helped and him help get her first role. Would be Emma Roberts, Julia Roberts' yeah. niece, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Emma's right. It could be Emma. Oh, I know. It's you not know, a bad guess. Redford, like, it confuses me. It's so hard. It's so complicated in the package, which famously asked the musical question, why has it got to be so complicated? Robert Redford once offered her a part, and she's like, it's so complicated. I'm not an actor. I'm a singer, and she passed. Get your freak flag fly? Yep, maybe Avril may not have invented the freak flag per se, but she has perfected it. I don't know where he's going Peachy with this. Keen, Avril Lavigne. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I, I didn't know, know where he was going with that, man. He just was just going on a rant. I was like, what is he talking about? Joke for the that day, was huh? a legitimate guess, Nick Cannon. Are you about to cry? Yeah, you, no. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, Whoever no. Whoever you are, that was a beautiful performance. Thank you so much for sharing. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the kitty. Head on backstage. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Why he had to push her like that? <laughs> Why Nick do her like that? 
why. I'm super nine, so me singing this song was my way of showing my competition ooh, ooh, that ooh, I am ooh, something ooh, to be ooh. afraid of. She's the trickiest Who is one that? right now out of the Super 9. I this think, is hard. I think, you guys, that she's going to surprise us. I think when they take it off, it's going to be like hidden gems. It's going to be know. like, we had no idea it was you and that you, Who is keep, that? you had that voice. Yeah. It keeps happening to us. We keep getting shocked on this season. Ready for another reveal? Introducing the Mass Singer Shop. Get your character. Oh, I was like, we're talking about another your reveal. Own Don't talk to me hoodie. Shop now. Don't talk to me. That's actually hilarious. Don't talk to me. Come on in, guys. I need a hug. I'm so bummed I'm in the bottom three. I keep waiting for Nick to tell me it's an April Fool's joke. Was I just too sexy? No, you being in the Super 9 was a uh, April Fool's Mad joke. Singer, Super but I get it, though. You entertaining, so. That has everything you can want in your nightly entertainment. Music, drama, oh, the ice cream is up next? Oh, the banana. Like fruit that goes in your blender. <laughs> So is there even an ice cream? I don't know if make banana? that up. Watch this, and you tell me. When I first got here, I was just a party boy looking for a good time. But after that first performance, I didn't want to take this Man. costume off. Raspy voice. But man, a traumatic injury from my past made me forget the lyrics in my second performance. But I rallied the next go round. I just might have a problem that you don't understand. This is the best performance you've done so far. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't believe I'm in the Super 9. And I'm not ready for the trip to end here. Now are you ready for a clue? You might be a kindred spirit if you've ever rocked one of these. Business in the front, party in the back. A mullet? Mullets. Mullet. Country singers have mullets. Rock stars from back in the day. Yeah. And lions. Blue collar comedians. And blue yeah, collar comics. Jeff Foxworthy. Sure. They think it's Bill. So basically, we're back to the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they think it's Bill. I need your hands. Big wheels, he keep on turning. song everybody knows the banana is safe I'm with the comedian he I think he's a com comedian too That boy was digging in the crowd though. He, hey, 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 hey. Banana. Banana. Look at the frog. We know he's safe today. Banana. Banana. Got the energy going crazy in here. Banana. I told you. Banana. I love the dance that you do. Yeah, come on. All right. Yeah. I love it. I love your energy. I am completely flabbergasted right now because the, the voice is different. Yeah, the voice it is. is this it's week. definitely I like different. Anything it's we've heard. You sounded amazing, though. A lot of soul in your voice. Great performance. Banana. Banana. We know you're high in potassium and you go super well with ice cream. <laughs> but, Mr. Banana, what is one thing you are not? I can tell you this blue collar has many, many meanings. When I say blue collar, I'm a funny guy, but I'm not stand up funny. Oh, because I so, was going stand up. So he's comedian not a comedian. Weeks. So if you're not a stand up comedian. Oh, but this is the April Fool's mullet, episode. 
You also wanted to rebrand yourself. That was another clue. So maybe you were in like a hair band and turned into country. Huh. So I think Brett Michaels is a really good oh, guess. That's a good guess. He had really a traumatic guess. injury. Brett Michaels? And also rebranded that's, himself. That's not a bad that's a guess. guess. That's a good that's one. That's not a bad guess. guess. I can but jump on board with that. Just because he said he wasn't a stand up guy doesn't mean that he's not. A stand up a great comedian? actor, performer, oh. someone who ah. is a singer, someone who trying to rebrand himself a little bit like Brad Paisley, and he hosted his own variety show. So, Nick Cannon, you better watch your back. You never that ain't no Brad Paisley. No that ain't no Brad I Paisley. Said Brad Paisley last time. Oh, I, I stole it from Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Are you reading off of Nicole's notes again? Like, you know what? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. He also said he had an incident, and Brad, I think though. Brad Paisley fell at one of his concerts, so that could possibly be him. And he talks a lot about cars, and Brad Paisley did a lot on the Cars soundtrack. Ooh. So I'm still. I have never watched with Cars. Brad Paisley. Ah. Is he that tall? He's disguising his voice. Yeah, because he's changing it up. I think a lot. he's disguising his voice. Brad Paisley. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it Maybe up today. Maybe could be then. I don't know. Because one of the earlier they swayed me. Said he has two daughters. <laughs> he's an ex-party animal. Hmm. He had one of the most famous mullets in history. And traumatic incident could be when I performed with one of his daughters at the VMAs. Oh. <laughs> we remember Billy that. Ray. Billy with Ray Cyrus. With the, Be the Beetlejuice <laughs> suit. Hey, that suit was fly though. Like Billy Ray Cyrus. This is a good one. Suit. I'm gonna go with Billy Ray. Oh! Yeah. He remembers too. Everybody remembers the Beetlejuice yeah. suit. I, unless yeah. Billy is throwing his voice. Is, I was supposed to be a referee. Oh. <laughs> well, still, it was a great performance. And so was this, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Was. Make some noise. Yeah. Brother, Billy got to be throwing his voice. Oh, I feel weird saying my own oh, name. That performance was enough to keep you out of the bottom three. But Billy got to be throwing his voice <laughs> tremendously because that don't sound like Billy Ray. Now, I don't hear it. Panels, banana guesses. Tell us what you think by using this hashtag. They could be either one of them three, to be honest. <laughs> I am hard. I'm really having fun. And listen, do, do, I know the competition do, 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 do. is heavy, and if I get that chance, I'm gonna bring something incredible next week. <laughs> Who is that? A. Hey. Who is that? It's a commercial now. Yo, these commercials are a lot longer than the other ones, than the normal episodes, bro. Like, this is crazy. This is definitely crazy. Boop, 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 boop. Who is that? I don't know. Sweet home Alabama. Banana, banana, banana. Make sweet love and no madu. Do ba do ba do ba do. Sweet home Alabama. But make sweet loving just for you. Because I live inside a trailer. But I'm not about on. Girl, I got you this present. Show my support for the best singer in Group B. Hey there, kitty girl. I got you this present. Show my support for the best singer in Group B. Aww, Team Frog. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Wait, what? Bah, April Fools. Frog rules. <laughs> this is the worst holiday. Welcome back to the Mass Singer, a show that puts your favorite celebrities in mass and then pits them against each other to win the Golden Mass Trophy. Next, we have our final Group B singer, The Frog. Let's take a look back at the history of this amphibian <laughs> amphibian. And Bow Wow is killing me right now with all this extra stuff he's doing. He's killing me with all this extra stuff he's doing. Man, let me tell you, I love, love, love being the frog. Plus, this getup allows me to do things I couldn't do when I had to be all concerned about my image. I can be the same guy on stage that I am at home with my fam. I know there are some crazy talented vocalists in this competition, oh, for sure. but I'm busting my butt to entertain you in ways they can. And shh. 
I even take a power nap before each performance, so these frog legs can give you every ounce of my energy. <laughs> and now, ready for a shiny new clue? You're getting served a good one. So, Ken, you can finally stop being wrong. Oh, night. That's when he did uh, Like Mike. He, he played on the nights. Knight in shining armor. So, squeaky clean image. Hmm. No, ain't no squeaky he clean. Called me out though. I'm not happy. <laughs> no frog says I'm wrong. Don't try to compare us to another bad little fad. I'm the man. Something that you never had. I make you hump, hump, wiggle and shake your rump. Cause I'll be kicking the flavor that makes you want to jump. How, how, pretty hot. I'm just so fly. Y'all gotta hear Bow Wow's voice. Y'all gotta hear it. Y'all gotta hear it. Y'all gotta hear it. Come on. 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 Come yeah, you know Jermaine Dupri was the one that signed uh, Bow Wow. Or worked with Bow Wow his whole life. Nick Cannon know who it is. We know that the frog ain't going home. The formalities of this and that Is that crisscross ain't coming off whack And for all y'all suckers that don't know Check it out some of them try to run, but they can't run like this. Some of them try to run, but they can't. Cause I'm the miggity, 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 mac daddy. Cause I'm the miggity, 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 mac. Cause I'm the miggity, 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 mac daddy. Cause I'm the miggity, 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 mac. You can tell it's been a while since he performed, though, but he got it. The mac daddy make ya. The daddy mac will make ya. Chris Cross will make ya. Uh huh, uh huh. Yup. Yup. That was. Bow wow, bow wow, bow wow. <laughs> the frog jumping on the competition. You was up there jumping. Energy was in the building. That's supposed to be the frog. All I know is I got my I got my cardio in during that song. You got us on our we feet, all did. frog. That was amazing. Yeah. All right, well everybody loves your performance, frog. Jump. You are right, I think he's staying home. I mean, I think he's staying uh, for another episode. Are not. I am actually not a trained dancer at Yeah, we know. Oh, do you feel me, baby? <laughs> do you feel me, baby? Oh, I, but oh. I can, you know what? But I but can tell that. No. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. you know what? You know, some people are just born with it. You know, yeah, but the thing is, is you that. don't get those kind of moves from ballet, okay? Like... <laughs> And you don't get them necessarily from training. You're born and you know how to move. You sure. love music. Sure. Music takes over your soul. Some of the best dancers, Usher, Neil, uh, all these cats, they are not trained dancers. They're just, Donnie like you said, Wahlberg, born with it. I get it. And he, and he, <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg got some moves, though. He right, got, but it's not like he was trained in dance. He's just born with it, like yeah, Frog he's born with there. some swag. He got swag. Yeah, he's got swag. And, you know, it, but he, you know, perform, he could, he's a natural performer. Yeah. Doesn't mean he's an actual singer. He still could be an actor that has some major swag. Yeah. Ah, this feels like a performer to me. Oh, this, yeah. Uh, this feels right, well, like Ken, since you know everything, who is this? Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Bring it on. Okay. I took umbrage when you said, Ken, you're wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> and that makes me think, Cisco? Cisco? You might be a frog, but Mr. Chow, your boy's a sleeping bear, all right? Don't poke the bear. They That's really should have Cisco on the show, though. Wrong, For real, though. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Or somebody you should at least do the, next the thong package. song. It is on, 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 on. I'll be on stage. Yeah. Ooh, that's just so scandalous. Hey, hey, I'm hey, hey. you a pass because you are the best. That ain't Cisco, though. Uh, go ahead, sit back down, Ken. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump on that. I saw a couple things in the clues. This guy is an amazing dancer and performer. I've guessed him before. Concerned about his Bow image wow. when he was younger, he was in a boy band B2K, so there could have it's been not some concerns about a squeaky clean image, stuff like that. There was a night in the uh, the final clue, and he had a song called Last Night. Mm. Okay. Last I Night? I think it's Omarion. Maybe, oh. but to me, after listening each week and the clues, especially Great Performer, and the super clue was Knight Trojan. He yep. played basketball for the USC Trojans. This is where I'm going, everyone. Oh. Lil Romeo. 
Thank you. Thank you. Right. Oh, look at. Oh, yeah, you got oh, it. Audience is feeling that. that ain't, we're onto something, you, audience. Think of the other one. And one thing we're definitely feeling was that's that. the one they put him against. Ladies and gentlemen. He's so really cool. Keep it going for the frog. Well, I think the frog is staying here. He's staying you another episode. I'm not upset at it. Tad polarizing. Tell us what you think by using this hashtag. Okay. Who is that? Which oh, snap. We have B singers. Do you want to, to find out who's going home? Again? Audience mm. and panel. It's time to it's probably gonna be the banana favorite of the night. The singer it's probably going to be the, the banana amount of votes will join White Tiger in our bottom three. The votes are in <sighs> and the groovy singer be? with the least amount of votes is coming up after this commercial break. We know. Banana. Oh, he actually said it. I thought he was going to. Oh, I knew it was the banana, though. I knew it. All is not lost. The panel will do one more vote at the end. I knew it was the banana. I knew it was. I'm still surprised they got the uh, tiger. He's smile and he still looks sad. Banana, we love you. We love you, Nana. Who is that? We still got three more singers to go. The rhino, the astronauts. It's group C. Damn, Gina! Damn, Gina today. All right, all right, all right. And we'll end this thing the way we always do. Take it off. Hey, take it off. Hey, hey, hey. One of my favorites. Oh, no, wait. What? One of my favorites? Who's going home? He took my mic. That song is a bop. That song is a whole bop. We're ready for the final collection of this bits. Group C. Group C. With it. We have the heavenly night angel who's 100 percent standing ovation. A majestic rhino who has everyone stumped. And the extra thick astronaut who's taking us to the moon and back. Superpower high notes. First up, the night angel. It's been said the golden mask is hers to lose. Guesses have included Tony Braxton, Janet Jackson, and Lil Kim. Let's take a closer look at the Night Angel. Plus, this is a uh, Candy Burris super clue. Or Candace. <laughs> My time on this show has honestly felt like Cloud Nine. Are going to win this entire competition. Wow. That is a big prediction right there. I've avoided putting myself front and center for years. A bit scared of standing alone after facing rejection Stand in my past. Standing alone? And helping others for so long has made spreading my own wings feel incredible. Even though I'm behind a mask, I feel like I can see endless possibilities in my future thanks to this show. And that's why tonight, I've chosen a song that's become my new mantra. But first, I know you want an easy clue, but not tonight. I'd rather cruise on by you with a tricky one. Oh boy. A tricycle. Tricycle. Multi-talented, like a triple threat. Oh, okay. Or in a trio. Yeah. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry go round. My answer has not changed. But I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out. That's one of my aunties, y'all. Hallelujah. Mountains, we gon' walk it out and Hallelujah. And I'll rise up. I'll rise like the day. I'll rise up. Woo. I'll rise up and pray. And I'll rise up. And I'll do the thousand times again. Yes, yes, Lord. For Oh. 
better sing it to him. Yes. She sung that. She sung that. She sung that. She better be staying. She better be staying. Night Angel, quite frankly and quite simply, strongest vocals we've heard today. Amazing job. For sure. Just beautiful. For sure. No jokes, just nothing but love and awe for you. It was great. Yeah. Oh, thank you. One time, just one one time a day. You know, it's uh, what's really special about you is that a lot of the other contestants they like to stay with the up tempos or they only like to do the ballads. You're killing both formats and For real. two completely different styles of music. It's amazing. It is, and it rained. Yeah. Turned up. She got a gift indeed. Nick, know who it is? Tell us something you are not. I'm not just a voice. I'm in mogul. Oh! Talk your talk, my angel. Mogul? Hello, Oprah. <laughs> that ain't that ain't no Oprah. Stop it! Stop it! Welcome to the mask Singer. Stop it! You get a mask. You get a mask. That ain't no Oprah. Robin, she is. do you have any idea who this might be? Well, you know, there's uh, another singer that has come knows. to mind that I wasn't thinking about before. After the strength of that performance, the vibrato, the range, come on. the warmth come on. of the tonality. You come know what? On. Also, there was a clue in the previous package about Grandma Gangsters earlier on when there were four Grandma of them. Gangsters. And she was in a group with four, I believe. Yes. Called The Braxtons. Oh. Wait. I really think Wait, that we this went could left. be Tamar Braxton, sister of Tony Braxton. Oh. All right. We did a song together. Oh, yeah. It's not Tamar. Tamar can sing. Yup, that could be it. That but Tamar. based on all the clues we got over the weeks, I but first thought of uh, Brandy, and she has a song called Angel in Disguise. No. She's an angel in disguise. I don't know if you saw it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Jenny. That was good, though. I like that's that. I wouldn't say mogul, but that's where I'm at right now, girlfriend. I would consider Brandy a mogul. She's, Brandy's a mogul. She's a mogul. All sure. right, fine. I take that back, Brandy. Yeah, yeah it, it, it just occurred to me. It reminded me of someone who I worked with on my own show, Dr. Ken. She has the voice of an angel, and with the tricycle and the clue package, that means she's a triple threat. She can sing, she can dance, and she can ride a tricycle. Anyone oh. over two years old can ride a tricycle. That's why it's got three wheels. Don't egg him on. Don't egg him on. Let me finish, all right? <laughs> and I think it might be Tisha Campbell. Oh, okay. Think about it. It all fits. She's been working since she was a child. She got her start in Little Shop Little of Shop Horse. Little Shop of Horse, yeah. Obviously, it went on Martin, where she, you know, where she's known for, damn, Gina. And then... Wait, wait, what's she known for? I just, I just, I, need, I just need that one more time. He's mocking me because I can't do impressions. I'm going to do it very accurately. Damn! Gina! Fuck him, fuck him. Martin, is that you? Yeah, thank you. No, it's Ken. It's Ken. It's not Tisha. Damn, Gina Sinel. All right, all right, all right. A powerful performance indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for the Night Angels. Here are our panel's guesses for the Night Angel. I don't even know what to say no more when Kim start guessing. I don't know. Who is that? I was that? singing the lyrics to the crowd. I was really singing to myself. Like, you can do this. Rise you sure can. Up, push harder. Be strong. It helped me amp myself up to get even stronger. Who is that? Hallelujah. Who is that? Who is that? All right, y'all. Uh-oh. No commercial? Oh, cool. Welcome back to the Ooh, Mass cool, Singer. Cool. It's our Super 9 event. The Night Angel swooped in and took our breath away with a beautiful performance. And that means our next contestant, Rhino, has some big shoes to fill. 
Let's take a look at his remarkable no, I know. plus one super clue. My journey on Mass Singer has been pushing me and forcing me to grow in ways I never dreamed. Nice to meet you. We know Rhino has a great voice, but we didn't know he could move like right? that. Earlier in life, I tried to be what everyone wanted me to be. Hmm. I became comfortable playing a role. But I learned over the years that true progress happens at the edge of your comfort zone. Airplanes aren't built so they can stay safe in the hangar. They're built to take to the sky. And so tonight, I'm doing my most upbeat, dare I say, dancey song yet. Upbeat dancey? But now, are you ready for some truth bombs? It's funny the panel thinks I'm an athlete because of my size. But he's not. Music has been my passion since he's I was an a artist. child. Yep. One, I've risen up the Billboard charts, and two, talk you your may talk. even have an album of mine. So talk who your the talk. heck am I? For a quarter, You're an artist. I'll fish you a clue. You know I'm a risk-taking gambling type, but that's not all this means. The Rhino. Okay, maybe he lives in Las Vegas. That's what I say, Vegas? Or he has a residency in Vegas. I don't know. Pop my heart about one, two times. Don't need to question the reason. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'd move the earth to lose a fight just to see you smile. Cause you got no flaws. Oh, oh. No flaws. I'm not trying to be your part-time lover. Sign me up for that full-time. I'm a yours. Got a little twang. Yeah. All, All the twangs. What a man got to do. Got a dog. What a man got to do. Hey. To be totally locked up by you. What a man got to say. What a man got to pray. I don't know. To be your last good night and your first good day. What a man got to do. What a man got to do. You you better get it. You better get it. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, AARP knees. Hold on. What he gotta do? I don't know. Totally like like you. Like you. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Way to bring it. The rhino did that. The rhino staying. He better stay. He better stay. He really tall. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you doing, Jenny? Jenny, what's going on? He's what? What are you doing, Jenny? <laughs> Yo, Jenny got armpit hair. Oh my gosh, Jenny! <laughs> April Fool's! <Okay. laughs> more fur, more fun. Yo, you, you got us all. <laughs> Jenny, talk to the rhino. There's something about your voice that's very soothing. It doesn't surprise me that you've been on the Billboard charts. And it doesn't surprise me that you're here in the Super 9. And I have a feeling you will continue, Rhino. Yes. Yes, for sure. <laughs> I like the Rhino. All right, Rhino, you are many things. But tell us, what are, are you, you not? not? I'm not nearly as tall as you think I am. Really? What? what, does what? That mean? How do you fake that? I yeah. mean, you can see in comparison it's... to knees and let's just call it, um, you know, inner pants seam. The inseam. Height. The inseam. Check out the inseam. I, I kind of sag mine, you know. Yeah. I don't wear mine all the way up. Hey. Hey. Whoa. 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 <laughs> I could have went without knowing that. Thank you. I think Thank you're you. pretty tall. You know why? When you guys were on stage, you were just as tall as White Tiger and White Tiger. Looked yeah. like a giant. You guys were even, so 
I'm not sure if I believe that clue. Well, originally I was thinking it was Ryan Lochte, the swimmer, right? Yeah. But if he's saying he's not that tall, now I'm going the country singer route. Yes, because y'all got his album. Based things. His wife is Amy So it's Grant. not Tim? I know they come from a religious background. And there was a fish in the package. Uh-huh. What that mean? I think it could be Vince Gill. Vince Gill? And y'all weren't here, so don't laugh. You don't know the other <laughs> clues, okay? <laughs> okay, so the other here. clues were Grand Ole Opry. Uh -huh. Vince Gill is inducted to the Hall of Fame of the Grand Ole Opry. Thank you. N nodding with me. So, you know what? I'm just going to be confident. Got one supporter over I'm there. I'm happy. I'll take it. That's all I need is one believer, okay? I'm, I'm going with Vince Gill. Vince Gill, huh? What a man got Vince Gill has a beautiful voice. But instead of it being a lead singer of a rock band, Maybe it's somebody who was the lead guitarist or lead bass player or drummer True. of a rock band. So, oh. so he's been on the Billboard charts. He's had a number one or had an album we might own, but we are always thinking of the lead singers and not okay. a band member. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to get the ball rolling in a different direction. I'm going to go with Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses. That's a good guess. Speaking of moving the ball in another direction, I don't know um, what his number voice sounds two like. I don't know. was a big thing in the package, and this guy was number two on the Yankees. Okay. Rhino also has a woman that he calls an angel that saved his life, he oh, said. Yeah. And so Derek well, Jeter is married to a Victoria's Secret model, Angel. Yes. So I figured, why not hey. go with um, Derek Jeter? Derek Jeter, we got his, one. we got his album but at the, the crib. The thing about Derek Jeter, does he have any albums or songs on the Billboard charts? Does anybody have a Derek Jeter? Oh, album? I got that album from Derek Jeter, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I think it was short. Stop, get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> you just killed Jenny's that was, guess for another pun. I'm going, that was actually. I'm going home, Thank you. Oh my God. Speaking that of was clever. One, one thing we do know is two that points. was an incredible Negative. performance. Y'all make some noise for the Rhino. Hopefully that performance was enough to keep you out of the bottom three. Yes. The panel Who is that? They know who the Rhino is. Are they even Man, these episodes are jam-packed. By using this hashtag. I never thought anyone else would be seeing these moves, so I've had to step up the dance moves a little bit. This experience has challenged me to my core. I do want to compete. I want to be in the big leagues at the highest level out here, but I'll tell you what, it's a challenge. Group C Who is that? C for competitive. They came to win. Yeah. It's definitely the toughest group. Group A was energetic. B was the emotional one. Yes. C is a competitive one. Yes. I, I like that. Who is that. We've got one out of this world performance left. Oh, he's the last one? That good. We got the astronaut next, y'all. We getting rip-rolled? And one Super 9 singer will be super exposed. We're going to get rip-rolled, y'all. I'm excited. Who is that? Welcome back to the Mass Singer. Our Super 9 event is coming to an end. And Super for nine. me, myself, is another final. It's actually a bittersweet moment. Hold on, hold on. I actually was actually taking like a real serious moment for a second to say, unfortunately, this is going to be my last time hosting. Oh, this, this is show. April Fools. What? It's, it's like really overwhelming, and I hate. It's like a bittersweet moment. April Fools. I love this show. You can't get rid of me. I don't like that joke. Yeah. We don't break up the family. <laughs> yeah, I know it was April right. Fool's. Next up I knew it. is Astronaut. You got me the first time. You won't this time. Super clue. It's going down. Check it out. My mass singer journey couldn't have come at a better time in my life. For years, I've been searching for a chance to blast away labels that have been imposed on me. You see, on my old planet, something happened that changed the course of my career. I was forced to start over, but negativity made it difficult to launch again. But here, in this new world, I have an incredible support system around me. Oh, I, I just love your energy and your heart. I'm free to break boundaries and explore new territories. No tether attached. I am Tether. not a competitive guy, but boy, do I want to plant my flag at that finale. Plant your flag, now, huh? Now, let's blow the whistle on a clue that means the world to me. All right, time to rock it. Time to rock it? 
Crawford record. Oh, he remember there's a Guinness Book of World oh, Record breaker. Oh. So he's the one who broke the record. That narrows it down. <laughs> Clues never help you, boy. Strangers to love. Go ahead. You know the rules, so do I. I ain't never heard it like this. I like that. Commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. And I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Never gonna give you up. I have never heard this song like this before. It's a bop. You're too shy. Go ahead. Inside we both know what's been going on. Look at look at the astronauts in the background, tripping. Talk about some. What was that? I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling. Keep it going, keep going. They gotta make you understand. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. He's not much of a dancer though. Definitely not a dancer. Never gonna make you cry. Say goodbye. Tell a lie. And hurt you. That song is a bop though. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Give you up. I was just enjoying the performance. I wasn't even trying to guess. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Never gonna give, never gonna give. So I don't know who's gonna. I don't know who's gonna go home out of them. Between the Night Angel, the Rhino, and the, the astronaut. That's a tough call. I've never ever heard. Maybe the Rhino. That your version. Never heard that before. I got Rick rolled. I guess. Yeah. Never heard that cover before, but it was dope. It was. I love you so much. You wear your heart on your sleeve. Like, Lofty I know it praise. said in the clue packages you broke records. I think you were breaking records, hitting them high notes tonight with that falsetto. Right. You had some adding a little bit of that robot yeah. choreo. I really like the moon bounce when he starts hopping up right, and right, right, zero, right, that right, zero right. gravity thing. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Perfect. Now, astronaut, you have to tell us, what are you not? Well, not as much what I'm not, but maybe what I'd never. I've never had traditional voice training. Really? Neither has Ken. Oh. Yeah, we have a lot in common. No, but actually, actually, that, that really doesn't help much. I've never had yeah. uh, true vocal training. I've had vocal strengthening. Really? Uh, it could uh, mean that he's an actor yeah, that but knows a lot how of, to sing. Right, or like the frog earlier, who has never uh, been a professional dancer, right. is the best dancing performer on this season. Yes. So he has a wonderful voice, and maybe he's just never fully trained, but that doesn't mean he hasn't sung in, on, on a TV show, he on Broadway, a in a movie, or a record. natural instrument. He does, he does. You're a natural. I don't know. <laughs> you know you up on anything? I I don't know. We're gonna need Jenny's guesses. help. Jenny, right. lead us to the promised land. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Way back when, you guys, we saw Circle of Life. We found out he knows sign language. There was a French horn. Do you guys remember there was two dice that equaled ten, five, yes. and five? Yes. We five. still haven't figured out what that means. Um, Why but did then you say the it super then? clue made me think more of the actor, singer, David Archuleta. American Idol. And I'll tell you why. David Astro, Archuleta. which makes me think of Star. If you guys recall, maybe not, but he was on Star Search. Oh, really? I, I did not know that. He also uh, broke records on Idol. Never watched Star Search. Did you know that? Oh, no. no. I, I didn't. So David Archuleta is my guest for this week. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Jenny, 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 Jenny. Oh, Jenny. I like no, that. It's nobody in the crowd guess. said it, though. And a wrong guess. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, Will Arnett, you know, he was a guest panelist, but he's busy mastering Lego, so I'm going to steal his guess. And I'm looking at all the clues, and it said, No Tether Attached. That's a veiled clue to NSYNC's hit album, No Strings Attached. So, putting everything together, J.C. Chazé. Oh. J.C.? 
know? You know, right? Am I doing the right thing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's Daddy. funny. All right. That's funny. It is not JC. <laughs> what? He was a Musketeer, so he probably had formal voice training. Well, who is it then, Nicole? I'm just going to go out on a limb and, and try someone new this week. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. I'm going to go with Ryan Tedder. Oh, yeah. I like that. Because it says no tether attached. Tether. Tether. Right? Right. Tether, tether. And I'm pretty sure he taught himself to sing. That's right. Also, he said he's broken records. And Ryan, I think, has got, he has had to break so many yeah. records from all of the records he's penned. Actually, Adele broke the record a couple broke years ago hello. when she sold 3.6 million in the first week. And Ryan Tedder was the main songwriter and producer oh, really? on yeah. that album. But can you connect the skeleton foot clue and the colorful balloons clue? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, one thing we can connect is we connect it to that. All right, I want to know who's going to be the bottom up. three. I want to know. And like I said, White Tiger better be going home at the end of this. But I doubt it. Tell us what you think by using this hashtag. David Archuleta. Boom, 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 boom. It's probably going to be the Rhino. Or it might be the Night Angel. I don't know. Maybe it might be the Night Angel. Which Group C singer do you want to see again? The one with the least amount of votes would join White Tiger and Banana in our bottom three. The votes are in. The singer in the bottom three. Who is it? Is. I'm falling for it. He said, I'm not falling for it. We're coming oh. back after this commercial. Oh my God, are we doing it? We're doing it. Oh, oh Tommy. Rhino. Oh. I, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Rhino. And it's not over yet. It's not over for the Rhino. Not the bottom three. Astronaut. Congrats to you guys. The bottom three. Coming up, the moment you all love. Ha. The celebrity it's is the taking bottom it three. Off. It could be anyone. The mass Singer, we'll be right back. This bum, was bum, top. Bum, 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 bum. Who so is that? Choose your favorite ice cream when all ice cream is good. Not really. Not. I don't think so. Welcome back. We're about to do the bottom and three, y'all. Let's go. Puns and passion. Group uh, A. Let's go. The emotion. Group it B better be the White the Tiger. And we got Rick Road by Group C. White Tiger, Banana, and Rhino are in the bottom three. One of these three stars is about to be unmasked. Panel. That decision lies with you. The panel has voted. And well, I they're not gonna make them battle. An easy choice. Okay. Oh, this is for sure gonna go into commercial then. Banana. Wait. You will sing another day. <laughs> what? That was what? Nick about to make me mad. He about to make me mad. I am about to and be our pissed. Final singer who gets to keep their mask on is. Come on. Come on, Rhino. Rhino. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Prayer works, y'all. Prayer works. Thank you. You will oh. be unmasked. Banana Rhino. Thank you. Rhino. I have been so ready for the White Tiger to go home. Thank you. And this is no hate towards Rob, but he had to get off the show, bro. He, his time was up three full episodes ago. But my man, White Tiger. Congratulations on making it to the Super Nine, but sadly, the road does stop here. You're the first to go. Thank you. But before you take it off, panel, let's hear your final guesses. I am so uh, sad right now. Well, I am a huge fan of yours on this stage, and if, if it's who I think it is, I'm also a huge fan of yours off this stage. I watch sports religiously, and I've seen this guy dance and celebrate <laughs> in all different formats, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and I'm mm -hmm. a huge fan. I think it's Rob Gronkowski. Thank you. That's my favorite. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think that it, it's him. Okay. Okay. Nicole. The Egg on your face, baby. Egg on your face. Aquaman, Jason Momoa. I know Jason is animated and big, right? That's what I first thought. Then I moved on to Magic Mike because of his moves. The guy from Magic Mike, Joe Manganiello. 
But then I thought Clams, New England, New England, Boston. New this England, guy's Boston. a wrestler. Um, he also said he delivers week after week. So I'm going with wrestler John Cena. Yeah. Is John Cena a bestseller? Go to call. Like, I initially thought it was John Cena first from the Clue Packs, just because the way he moved and danced reminded me of the way he hurt me on WWE <laughs> Raw. But after the light bulbs and also the brother was being it, an athlete and watching J.J. Watt on SNL, who's so funny, and this is a very young, charismatic person, I'm going to go with J.J. Watt. Watt, Watt! <laughs> nope, no. All right. Yeah. Okay, so I saw Clams no. and I thought, of course, Boston. And then you gave us a little bit more, which was wicked good time. Hello, New England. And then we saw Quarter. Well, that led me to football. Then you gave me a little clue, which was Donnie will love this. Oh, that's and right. And you're right. Donnie, my Boston husband, does love this. You are Rob Gronkowski, and we miss you on the field, but we love you here. Okay, panel, we've heard your final guesses. Now, it's time to see who's they right. They should have John Cena on the show, though. Right, Tiger, I would love to see what his big behind does on this show. Really are. Take what type it of off. costume Take they will put on him? I'm so happy the White Tiger's going home. Yes. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, and we know who it is, duh. It's no surprise. It's no surprise. It's no surprise. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't do it without y'all. Yo, you were killing it. Thank you. Every time you hit the stage. I knew who it was from day one. So much energy. Everyone loves you. Why did you say yes to the mass Singer? He says yes to oh, everything. I've always loved dancing, and my dance moves were always one of a kind, and I always <laughs> yeah. felt like, yes, <laughs> I always felt like I was never on rhythm. So when I got asked to do the mass Singer, he knows. I knew I was in. I wanted to do it. I wanted to learn how to sing, and also I really wanted to learn how to dance. Oh, <laughs> you, yes. did. you didn't learn how to do neither well, one of those, yeah, but it's okay, you though. Did you did your best. Job. That's all we can ask, Rob. Well, Thank it's you. It's no wonder you've accomplished Thank so you. much in your life and career and why you're so beloved because your spirit and your cool personality dude. is so infectious. And every week you were a fan favorite and beloved. You and, were. We and loved you. It was really I hard to vote it. tonight. It was it very was. hard to vote. Was it really? And I also want to know, uh, did any of your teammates try to contact you to say, dude, are you on The mess Singer? <laughs> One or two of my teammates did contact me. Like, dude, that is definitely you. I know your moves. Like, like dog, yeah. I've seen those moves in the locker room plenty of times. I'm like, yeah. what do you mean? They're, they're new and approved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We hope we see those moves back in the locker room soon. Oh, <laughs> you never know. Yes. Okay. I have a question. Like, no, what, he's what having too much the, fun. What about the butter clue that made me guess Fabio? It was Butters. a pat of butter. Yeah. And the Patriots are known as the Pats. Got it. Now, are there any other clues they should have picked up on? Yeah, it was the easiest one. There was a cow skiing. Grand cow ski. Oh, oh come I, on. That was, that was easy. A cow going skiing. That's awesome. That's like one of my jokes. Get it. Yeah, that was <laughs> that, considered no. the best uh, tight end. But we know your time, voice, so though. Amazing. Oh, thank you, Robin. Uh, you ain't on the Patriots no more. Tom Brady ain't on the Patriots no more. Boy, my Bills got a chance this year. Y'all don't know how gassed I am. Legends right in front of my eyes. I am excited. Thank you for what you did, Rob. Thank you. This was great. We had a good time. I'm glad you're off the show. But um, of all face -offs. on to the next. The first half of our remaining eight will compete. It's the return of our SmackDown round. Yes, and right SmackDown. Now, let's give a hefty standing O to the artist formerly known as White Tiger. Give it up for Rob Gronkowski. I'm so glad this is the last time I have to hear. Hey, 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 Angel. I'm so glad he's off the show. What? He's off the show. He's off the show. He's off the show.
All right, y'all. Look, I don't want anybody thinking that I actually hate Rob Gronkowski. I really don't. Like, I just, for real, like, <laughs> he, he was fun the first couple of episodes, but I'm for real, though. I'm glad he's off the show this <laughs> because I couldn't, I couldn't make it through another Rob performance. I just, I was worn out. You know what I'm saying? I was really worn out. But um, anyways, shout out to Rob, though. Like I said, no, no hate, no none of that stuff. Shout out to him. He did his thing. It's entertaining. But we on to the next. You feel me? Did y'all already know who that was? Tell me y'all knew that that was Rob. You can be honest. I ain't going to judge you. If you didn't know it was Rob, let me know in the comment section. Be, keep, it a, keep it a buck. Keep it a whole buck. Like I said, for those that are watching this on YouTube, y'all already seen that the White Tiger went home. So y'all already watched, you know what I'm saying, me react to all his performances. If you want to see the whole episode, though, head over to patreon.com slash Billy You So Crazy or patreon.com slash Billy You So Crazy for $2. You get the whole, you know what I'm saying, all the episodes from I've done one through 10 so far. You know what I'm saying? I've done them all. But uh, let's do some quick comment reading real quick. Once again, shout out to Randy Montgomery, Ruth Hendricks, Carlos Sanchez, Kate Wright, Rubio, Maddie Thomas, Teresa Lewis, Rhonda Drummonds, Ruba, which we shared the same birthday. Shout out to you, girl. You know what I'm saying? Happy belated birthday. Uh, Shay, Carolyn, uh, Hannah, and Bailey. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see some of these comments. Um, Ruth says she enjoys watching my reactions. Thank you so much. I appreciate your love. I really do. And it's okay if you watch my videos over and over. I have no problem with that. If there's anybody that want to watch my videos over and over, please do so. You know what I'm saying? Carlos says he always looks forward to my mass Singer videos. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, Kate Wright, you said you're ruling out Tim Tebow. That's understandable. We're going to have to wait till next week. You know what I'm saying? Ruby, um, I want Kangaroo and Kitty to win the whole thing. Hmm. I don't know. I, I mean, that could possible. Possible. You think the Rhino is Cam Newton? That's, a, that's not a bad guess. That's not a bad guess. That's not a bad guess. Uh, Maddie. You said, I'm happy that Night Angel, Rhino, and Astronaut made the Super 9. Okay. White Tiger, Rob, Turtle, Jesse, Kangaroo, Jordan Sparks, or Jordan Woods. Uh, it might be Jordan Woods. Frog is definitely Bow Wow. Banana, Brett Michaels. Kitty, Lucy Hale, or Sabrina Carpenter. Mm. Astronaut, Hunter Hayes, Night Angel, Candy Burris, uh, Rhino, Barry Zito. His former wife is Miss M Missouri. Okay. Highlighted with a crown. That's a good guess. I love your reactions, and I'm excited to see the Super 9. Okay. Appreciate you, Maddie Thomas. Uh, Teresa. After this episode, I can hear Hunter Hayes 100%. Okay. Yeah, Gronk is definitely out. You know what I'm saying? We got what we asked for. <laughs> this is the first season they've done this format, but it's also the most contestants. It is. It really, that's why we got a two-hour episode, Rhonda. A two-hour. Your boy wasn't ready for this one. Uh, Shay says, excited for the Super 9. Rob Gronkowski went home. You think the turtle is Jesse? Of course. Kangaroo, Jordan Woods, Banana, Brett Michaels. Some of you guys have some of the same guesses. The kitty is Jackie of Avancho. I don't even know who that is. Frog is Bow Wow. Astronauts Hunter Hayes, the Night Angels Candy Burst, and a Rhino is Barry Zito. I'm rooting for the astronaut and the banana to go all the way. Mm. Y'all, do y'all agree? Do y'all feel the same? But I think the Turtle Kitty and Night Angel will make it to the end. I can, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Um, all right, and then the rest are just like reactions. Shout out to all you guys, reaction request. Um, Hannah Johnson, you said you ready for the Super Nine. I am ready for the Super Nine as well. All right, you guys, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you are currently watching this on YouTube, subscribe, and all that good stuff. That's it, man. I'll see y'all next week for the Super 8.